an asteroid named the God of Chaos, or Apophis, is currently making its way towards our planet. It's just one of the many near-Earth objects that will come close to our planet. However, what sets this one apart is how close it will come to us. Most asteroids pass past within hundreds of thousands of miles, but this one is thought to come within 19,000 miles of our planet's surface, and this is if it stays on the course it's currently on, something that doesn't always happen. This is extremely close, and means that scientists will have to observe the object and keep a close eye on it. This asteroid measures in at over 1,000 feet, so something of this size would easily cause a lot of damage if it was to make contact. NASA said the following on their website, Asteroid 99942 Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid of more than 1,000 feet in size that will pass close to Earth on April 13, 2029. When it was discovered back in 2004, the asteroid caused a stir because initial calculations indicated a small possibility it would impact Earth in 2029. After searching through some older astronomical images, Scientists ruled out the possibility of a 2029 impact. It's now predicted that the asteroid will safely pass around 19,000 miles from our planet's surface. While that's a safe distance, it's close enough that the asteroid will come between Earth and our moon, which is around 238,000 miles, or 384,000 kilometers. It's also within the distance that some spacecrafts orbit our planet, it's rare for an asteroid of this size to pass so close to Earth, although smaller asteroids in the range of 16 to 33 feet, or 5 to 10 meters in size, have been observed passing at a similar distance. End quote. Marina Brovig, a radar scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Science, said the following The Apophis close approach in 2029 will be an incredible opportunity for science. We'll observe the asteroid with both optical and radar telescopes. With radar observations, we might be able to see surface details that are only a few meters in size. End quote. NASA continued by saying the following. During its 2029 flyby, Apophis will become visible in the night sky over the southern hemisphere and will look like a speck of light moving from east to west over Australia. It will be mid-morning on the US East Coast when the asteroid is above Australia. Apophis will then cross above the Indian Ocean, and continuing west it will cross the equator over Africa. At its closest approach to Earth, just before 6pm the asteroid will be over the Atlantic Ocean. It will move so fast that it will cross the Atlantic in just an hour. End quote. This asteroid is just one of many that's been discovered, with NASA officials saying it's important for researchers to pick up on these objects early on, as this gives us the best chance of detecting a potential threat. NASA does a great job at scanning the cosmos for near-Earth objects, and it's important that we have teams across the planet running the numbers. One interesting thing to note though is that the majority of these asteroids don't get picked up on until the last minute, meaning that if they're on a collision course, we don't have a lot of time to act. Asteroid 2020 PM7 is one example of this, as this asteroid was only discovered this year, and it's been placed in the category of a near-Earth object. The asteroid was being tracked by a team of scientists, and they said that a few weeks back it was visible in the night sky. Researchers said the asteroid was just over 650 feet in length, or 200 meters, and it was traveling at around 18,500 miles per hour. Scientists have done tests on what would happen if an asteroid of this size was to make contact of our planet, and they say that if this happened it would easily destroy several towns, and could even go on to trigger several natural disasters. It's surprising because you wouldn't expect an object that's so small to be able to cause so much damage. This is why researchers have said that asteroids that are several miles in diameter need to be monitored, as something of this size could potentially wipe out nearly all life on this planet. It's discoveries like these that show us how fragile life is, 
and that there could be an asteroid out there right now heading towards our planet, and we don't even know about it. As of right now, it's looking like Earth is safe from many of these celestial bodies. Regardless, although many of these asteroids are still millions of miles away from us, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has labelled these space rocks as being potentially hazardous. This comes down to the fact that at some point in the future this could pose a threat to Earth, meaning it's been added to the long list of other asteroids that will need to be monitored. Another thing to note is that if a large asteroid did make its way towards our planet, there's not much we can really do. One of the main ways we would try to stop a collision is by sending rovers, and hope they would be able to nudge the asteroid in a different direction. Various tests have shown that although this could be effective, it also might not work, and would be something that would need to be tested in a real life scenario to see how effective it is. NASA continued with the following on their website. The orbit of Apophis crosses the orbit of the Earth. It completes an orbit around the Sun in a bit less than one Earth year. This puts it in the group of Earth-crossing orbits, whose orbits are small in width than the width of Earth's orbit. As a result of its close encounter with Earth in 2029, the asteroid's orbit will be widened to become slightly larger than the width of Earth's. Like all asteroids, Apophis is a remnant of the early formation of our solar system that happened around 4.6 billion years ago. It originated in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Over millions of years, its orbit was changed primarily by the gravitational influence of larger planets, like Jupiter, so it now orbits the Sun closer to Earth. End quote. So what do you guys make of these near-Earth objects? And do you think one day one of these will make contact with our planet? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.